one eternity later. I spite you, okay? I just, I get so mad and I can't control things and then, you know, shit just falls on top of Three me. Three days later. Mom said she was at Bean Machine. So, what's been happening? You know, uh, I don't know, stuff? No. I don't know. Well, what's been happening with you? Uh, thanks. It's been... it's... It's anyone's guess. Yeah. Yeah, I get it. Oh, okay. Here they are. Fabian too. Oh, what a treat. No caffeine. Come on. Your curling has been sluggish for weeks. A little bit less lifestyle guru and a little bit more boy toy, please? Uh, excuse me, I'm trying to write a screen Shush, here. woman! Hey, Amanda. Fabian. Michael? Hi, Mom. Hi, Jimmy. This is true. Five minutes later. Tracy's meant to be at the tattoo parlor. Tracy's getting another tattoo. No, oh god no. That Laszlo guy's there. Laszlo? That asshole? What's he want? It's Tracy that wants something. She wants to get back on fame or shame after you and Uncle T cut her cameo short. Well, maybe we ought to help her out with that. Maybe we ought to. Hey, hey ask you. Back there with your mom. That went okay, didn't it? Anything that ends with Fabian's burst eardrum is more than okay with me. Now, I mean with me and your mom. I think it's an important first step in, like, the direction of, okay, if you know what I mean. Yeah, yeah, I know what you mean. Yeah. I'd like to make a reservation for one, please. I can come over right now. I think they're in here. I'm looking for something hip that, you know, says I'm capable of violence, but I'm awesome in the sack. So listen, babe, if you want to make it in Vinewood, you got to do whatever it takes, even if <laughs> whatever it takes is a depressed borderline alcoholic who hosts the third most popular talent Many show. months later. Who knew you could use a tattoo gun? It's one of those skills you pick up in prison. You know, inking your name on your celly's ass. Ew, are you serious? Come on. No. Not quite. Not to be difficult, but your therapist hasn't exactly been transformational to your mental health. So I don't know why he'd be better positioned to help four dysfunctionals. Hey, this was your mother's idea. Well, I guess it beats yoga. Huh? Now he beats yoga. Literally. Like Fabian? Michael, kids, let's go inside. Okay. I'm fighting. Amanda. Approximately 10 hours later. So, will you drive us home? 
You know, there was a moment there. I thought... What? I don't know, like, maybe we still had a ways to go. You know, like, maybe we need more time. Time for what? Time to move beyond screaming at each other. That was cathartic. Catharsis all over my face. Ooh, I got a warm, fuzzy feeling. Probably just the meds you raided. Okay. Cathartic. All right. I just don't want it to be more of the same. Now you're the one making the demands? No, oh, no, no, not demands. I, I, I'm saying you're right. Something was broke, and we gotta work at fixing it. We do. All of us. Yes, Mom. For real, peeps. Because I started to understand something in there. No one else gets this family. Not Dr. Friedlander, or my yoga teacher, or our tennis coach, or the juice guy, or the dog walker. Oh, or, hey, hey. Or Jimmy's third grade teacher. Or the trash guy. Or dad's proctologist. Or the guy that thinks he's Jesus on Vespucci Beach. Or the hippie bum who thinks the world is ending. We're stuck with each other. I mean, how do you explain faking our deaths, changing our names, all the line to the FIB? That monster, Trevor. There's no explaining Uncle T. Hey, is he coming to the next therapy session? What? No. No. Jeez. Kids, rooms. If you find dead bodies, cheap women, or Trevor Phillips, we're checking into the Rockford Hills Hotel. <laughs> 